If you weren't aware that Rihanna has emerged as a legitimate business force, you clearly haven't been paying attention. Welcome back to our channel Fact District, and today we are going to discuss how Rihanna turned her fame into a full-blown business empire. The singer has three clothing and cosmetics lines, Fenty Puma, Fenty Beauty, and her most recent venture, the lingerie line Savage X Fenty. Fenty Puma is a collaboration between the singer and Puma. Rihanna's Fenty Puma collection made its debut in early 2016. Moreover, in keeping with the spirit of any collaborative effort with a sneaker brand, Fenty's output has included a slew of highly anticipated footwear, including the furry slides that were popular in spring-summer 2016, and the Fenty Puma Creeper, which was named Shoe of the Year at the 2016 Footwear News Achievement Awards, making Rihanna the first female sneaker designer to receive the honor. And while Rihanna has chosen to skip the official Fashion Week schedule for 2018, Fenty Puma was nominated for British Fashion Council Award in the Urban Lux brand category at the Fashion Awards last year. The nomination placed Fenty Puma among the top dogs at the intersection of high fashion and streetwear alongside brands such as Gosha Robchinsky, Off-White, Supreme, and Vetmont. The fact that Rihanna has achieved such success, even in light of Kanye West's success with Yeezy, is both rare and impressive for a celebrity-led line. According to a proverb, it's ugly until Rihanna decides it isn't, says the singer. In fact, Jihan Forbes, digital editor of Allure magazine, says that this is completely true. I believe that one of the most appealing aspects of Rihanna's Fenty Puma line is that it makes her personal style accessible to the rest of us. And perhaps most importantly, it is attractive on regular people, putting a strong emphasis on wearability while also incorporating a celebrity's personal style has proven successful for other celebrity-led brands, most prominently Jessica Simpson's eponymous label, which she has grown into a billion-dollar empire. However, Fenty Puma is targeted at a different audience, and what distinguishes the brand is how it manages to strike a balance between high fashion and accessibility for regular fans all without offering a cheesy Rihanna light version of the singer's signature look. While Rihanna's fashion line Fenty Puma established her as a legitimate designer and businesswoman, it was the launch of her cosmetics line Fenty Beauty that cemented her position as a business tastemaker in the industry. After only a month on the market, Fenty Beauty had generated an impressive $72 million in sales, earning it a spot on Time's list of the 25 best inventions of 2017 alongside the iPhone X and the Tesla Model 3. The secret to Rihanna's success is not only the strength of her personal brand, after all, she's Rihanna, but also her inclusive attitude towards all people. Unlike many other beauty brands on the market, Fenty Beauty's foundations are available in a variety of shades, with a majority of them being different shades of beige. As an alternative, the singer paid attention to the different tones of different women's skin and offered everything from super light to very dark shades with an array of undertones, which are essential for getting the right color, that were designed to suit every woman's complexion. Upon subscribing to the Fenty Beauty newsletter, you will receive an email in which you will be welcomed into the Fenty Beauty family. This is a common marketing ploy, but Rihanna's Fenty lines take it a step further by emphasizing a sense of belonging among their customers. Other makeup brands are finally catering to women of color who have long been ignored or underserved by the industry. And the women of color have reacted positively, spending their hard-earned money. Fenty Beauty did an excellent job at communicating with consumers about the products it offered. The brand is credited with bringing attention to the 40 Shades of Foundation debate. According to Alison Cullens of Women's Wear Daily's beauty financial editor, Alison Cullens. Although other brands had done 40 Shades, or more than 40 shades at MAC, making sure that women of color truly had options wasn't something that brands had previously focused the conversation on. It generated a lot of interest, and that interest resulted in sales. Forbes agrees that the shade range was critical to the success of Fenty Beauty's product line. Her explanation is that all she was doing was giving the people what they wanted without making any excuses as to why it couldn't be done. I also believe that Fenty Beauty has made the makeup industry aware that women of color buy makeup and are willing to spend money to get their hands on high-quality makeup that is tailored to their needs. 
As a result, there is a demand for it, and that demand had to be met. Fenty Beauty's commitment to inclusivity extends beyond the range of foundation colors available. A diverse range of races, sizes, and skin tones are represented by the brand's models, and Fenty Beauty has actively built a community on Instagram by reposting images from customers and surprising fans with free products on a regular basis. As Cullens points out, in addition to Rihanna's 63 million Instagram followers, the Fenty Beauty community contributes to the growth of the brand. Yes, a large part of the excitement surrounding Rihanna's Fenty lines can be attributed to her already established celebrity, but her hands-on involvement with both the Fenty Puma and Fenty Beauty lines has contributed to their success. This was not something that industry people came up with and then put her name on, Cullens explains. It's also something she promoted on her personal social media pages, and she continues to promote it. Another factor contributing to Rihanna's success is the financial backing that both of her clothing lines have received. Because Fenty Beauty's distribution is handled by Kendo, an LVMH brand that was founded to develop products for Sephora, the brand had a massive multi-country launch that was well-supported, which resulted in a success, according to Collins. Rihanna's Fenty Ventures are most easily compared to Beyonce's Ivy Park clothing line and the Kardashian-Jenner beauty empire, but Riri is outperforming even the widely successful Kardashian-Jenner clan in terms of sales and profitability. It has been reported by WWD that Fenty Beauty is on track to outsell both Kylie Jenner's Kylie Cosmetics and Kim Kardashian's KKW Beauty by the end of the calendar year. And while Ivy Park has seen steady sales, Beyonce hasn't been able to generate the same levels of social media excitement for her collections as Rihanna has for hers, according to Vanity Fair. It's the fact that Rihanna's most recent venture, lingerie line Savage X Fenty, didn't launch sooner. That's the biggest surprise, given the star's undeniable sex appeal. After all, this is the artist who wrote the song Sex With Me. With just a few days left until the lingerie line's official launch on May 11, Rihanna shared images of herself wearing the collection, which includes everything from basic t-shirt bras to feather-lined dresses and robes as well as teasers that featured women of all shapes, sizes, and skin tones. It was a marketing strategy that was similar to the one used by Fenty Beauty, which was extremely successful. And it appeared to be effective. On drop day, there was a line of over an hour just to get onto the website, and the majority of the items sold out almost immediately after being released. When some fans pointed out that the brand's inclusive sizing still left some women out, the star responded by promising that the company would include a wider range of sizes in future releases. Ultimately, the success of Rihanna's business is dependent on three important factors, community, inclusion, and Rihanna's own formidable star power. Savage X Fenty is still in its early stages, making it difficult to predict whether the initial wave of hype will translate into long-term sales. However, Forbes predicts that the collection will be a success. As she explains, I guarantee you will see a Savage X Fenty piece at every day party this summer. Just as I saw every girl in New York City rocking her uncensored Stunna lip paint shade after it was released. We'll have to wait and see if Rihanna's Fenty brands can maintain their momentum. But if they do, who knows what the singer turned entrepreneur will do next. As the artist sings in her single, American Oxygen, which was released in 2015, a year before the launch of the first Fenty collection, we sweat for a nickel and a dime, turn it into an empire. She is referring to the first Fenty collection. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Have you ever shopped at Fenty Beauty? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.